I work with people with spinal cord injury and specifically high tetraplegia, so people that have uh, paralysis of, uh, of their arms. My goals in research are learning how an FVS neural prosthesis can control a human arm that's been paralyzed. Basically a set of implanted electrodes in someone's shoulder and arm. We can talk to the neural prosthesis and give stimulation commands to certain nerves and muscles. If for instance, uh, the algorithm already knows how to reach from your mouth over to here, then it might be able to be taught uh, something similar like moving from over here to your mouth. I use robots to act as sensors basically or uh, means of moving someone's arm around so that we can move someone's arm to different positions, measure how much effort it takes the robot to do that, and then turn that into a computational model of how the arm responds to electrical stimulation. The obvious thing to do would, would be just have your hand move in a straight line. That may not be physically possible uh, to stimulate uh, the muscles in the arm to to execute that motion. If I start at point A and I end at point B, how do I get from one to the other? And if there are lots of obstacles in the way, I can't just go in a straight line. We would have them come into the lab and sort of train their system to do certain things. And then when they go home, they can do the training themselves to do new tasks. So 